Hey, what's up everybody? Brandon Jameson here. And today I thought I would do a video where I would do three test pours. Uh, I got a hold of some Floatrol and I heard good things and I've seen good things. Uh, other people on the internet using Floatrol to make some really cool abstract art with their acrylic paint. So I went ahead and went to the hardware store and I picked some up and decided that uh, I wasn't just going to do one pour, but I would, I would see uh, what works well and what doesn't. You can see here I'm flashing all the paints that I use throughout most of the mixes, Americana Sea Breeze, you see the red. Uh, I do change up the paint, and I'll, I'll show you that when the time comes. Uh, for this first mixture though, I used just paint and Floatrol. And there's a Floatrol right there, Flood brand, that I got the whole gallon of it. So off camera, I'm just mixing right here and I'm trying to get it to the consistency that I want it to. Okay, so I blow by it right here, but the consistency that you're looking for is uh, a little bit runnier than, than warm maple syrup. If you have ever microwaved maple syrup and it's kind of runny, uh, just a little bit runnier than that. And so there I just add a little bit of uh, thalocycline blue to darken things up a little bit. And then everything goes into one cup. This is a dirty pour, so we uh, put everything in one cup. Flip the board over, flip it back, let it rest there for a little bit. Let the and voila. And to get the paint to cover the board, you can tilt it like I'm doing it there. You can spin it, you can blow on it, you can pour more paint than, uh, than is necessary to get to the edges. Uh, there's lots of different ways to get the paint to cover the whole board. And you can see that when I'm blowing on it here, it, uh, it blows away the white and reveals some of the darker colors underneath and some really cool patterns start to happen. This is a chooky beat. And then here I break out the blowtorch just to see what it does. Now this, this particular blend didn't get any silicone oil, so uh, what cells you see there or um, in, the, in the pictures you see at the end of the video, if it's not too clear here, 
Uh, there are some cells, they're very small, but they're there. And that just is due to the paint and the differences in the density of the paint causing the cells here. But I did bring a blowtorch to it just to see if it uh, changed anything. And you can see right there, it's creating a little bit of cells. And uh, here now I'm starting my second mixture with uh, just the same exact paints that I used as before, Artist Loft White. Million red sea breeze blue. Uh, there's the flow of trawl going in, battle blow trawl. And this time I'm going to use Elmer's glue. Uh, if you got PVA glue, that probably would work better. Maybe a teaspoon per cup. This batch is going to get silicone oil. I'm going to try to get a little bit bigger cells out of this. So just a few drops, several drops per cup. polyurethane this is uh, known as polycrylic or polyurethane at the stores it's basically an acrylic clear coat again about a tablespoon or a little bit more than a tablespoon per cup just to act as like a binding agent kind of thicken things up and just to see what it does to the paint start to mix Here I'm just adding a little bit of pyrrole red and pyrrole orange uh, just to brighten things up a little bit and then once again everything into one cup as this is a dirty pour flip the board flip the cup together for a little bit double check that it's level you want to make sure it's level left and right and up and down uh, so that the paint doesn't bleed overnight and ruin your whole image by the time you come back into your garage and and see that everything dripped off on one side so definitely want to make sure it's level this is a Chucky Beat production. And you can see some really nice colors there. And since uh, since I had silicone oil in there, I thought I'd hit it with the torch right away just to see if I can get some cells to happen. And, and there you see those, those cells starting to get really big because I hit it early. So there's a tip for you right there. If you want uh, really large cells, hit it right after the pour with the micro torch. And those cells, as you spread, uh, as, as time goes by, they'll kind of spread on their own. You don't have to do anything else. And you can see I'm really carefully blowing and tilting uh, because I, I want to get the most bang for my buck. So I, I, I'm really studying how the paint behaves when it's mixed this way. I'm really just trying to find what mix works best for me, which one that I like personally.
and you can see that the the torch brings out some pretty cool effects with this one uh, the silicone oil reacts to the fire and the paint it just creates these really really big cells it's not great uh, with the overhead resolution but though that there's some really nice cell action going on here with the silicone oil Last but not least, here's the third painting. Uh, so once again, we start with the paint. That's a little bit of Blix red some raw umber to, uh, to darken it up. I wanted to change the shades. That was the Floatrol going in, again, a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, that was the silicone oil going in, several drops of that, about a teaspoon of uh, Elmer. And then right here, I'm adding water. That's the only different this ingredient for this one. I wanted to see how water uh, behaved. A lot of people on YouTube were making uh, paintings with water, and the results were hit try one myself just to see if it's more of a ratio thing or if water is just uh, just not really the ideal thing to use and um, I show it there but it's it's sped up so you can't really see it but the consistency is definitely thinner than the other paints uh, the other two mixtures that I did the consistency was what runny uh, it dripped off the stick really easily it was a little bit thicker than ink by the time I was done mixing it And you can see right off the bat, the colors look really good. Uh, once again, I hit it with the torch 
immediately just to see if I can get some cells to happen and, and you can see that it did there. And uh, in retrospect, I wish I had this used more paint and I would have just let it, I would have just let it run to the edges of the board. Uh, but I didn't have enough paint and it, it kind of stopped moving. I sat there and watched it for a couple minutes and it, it just sat there. So I knew that I needed to eventually pick up the board and tilt it around. But um, in retrospect, I, I will do a pour later on and I'll make a video where I, I use more paint uh, such that it'll just run off of all the edges and I don't have to tilt it at all because as I look at it right now it looks really cool and I think it looks better there than it did later on after I started tilting it uh, but so far the the water flow which all mixture was not really disappointing to me it, it maintained color clarity it gave me cells uh, it didn't crack when it dried it was really I was really pleased with this one as well And there you can see all those nice colors and, and patterns that were there a second ago start to get smeared by the by the tilting process and uh, it still looks cool the end results still look pretty cool but I, I really liked it the way it was And once again, I hit this this piece with a blowtorch as well, just to see what more cells I can come up with. And uh, despite the water, the cells came immediately, and they were pretty big as well. And the colors didn't uh, they didn't blend together too much to where you lost the clarity, uh, but they did blend enough that they they still created really cool patterns. So you'll see in the in the pictures in the end that all of these turned out pretty neat. This is a Chucky Beat production.
So here's your final result. This is the Floetrol glue and polyacrylic. This one is the Floetrol glue and water mixture. Here's another shot of it, one of the, uh, one of the cooler parts. And uh, another angle of the same painting there. And this one was the Floetrol and paint only. Alright guys, thanks for watching.